When it comes to wireless gaming mice, I feel like the manufacturer has a few things that they absolutely have to nail in order to be even considered um, for a lot of the FPS gaming um, that's happening nowadays, right? Uh, has to have an incredibly good sensor and extremely low latency, as well as being lightweight and good battery life. And this mouse that I have in my hand from ASUS, the ROG Strix Impact 2, has actually done a really, really good job of delivering all of those things, as well as coming in at a, a really affordable price at only $119 here in Australia. Now, of course, I'm gonna be talking about all of the tech specs and features of this wireless gaming mouse, but I think what's more important is actually me sharing with you my experience, I guess, using this and daily driving it for the past three weeks, playing a lot of FPS games, majority of which was Call of Duty Warzone, and sharing with you what my experience was like going from something like the G Pro Wireless, which is a really renowned gaming mouse, to the Impact 2 and what that was what that was like and did I notice anything. Now, if you did enjoy the video and it helped you make a decision, don't forget to chuck it a like, get subscribed, and let's begin. All right, so let's go through the technical specs and do a quick run through of what is sort of packed into this mouse. In terms of connectivity, it connects wirelessly over 2.4 gigahertz wireless with a USB receiver that just plugs into your PC, um, into the USB port. The sensor is a PAW3335 sensor, which is a very good sensor. Uh, resolution wise, up to 16,000 DPI, max speed of 400 IPS, max acceleration of 40 G, and reporting rate of 1,000 hertz. Now the switches for the left and right switch are uh, Omron D2FC-F-K switches, which if you want to, you can actually take them out and put in other Omron switches of the same series. If you wanna try some different, or maybe when they wear out or you have an issue, you can actually repair and upgrade it yourself, which is really, really nice. Uh, buttons, you've got five buttons. So you've got a left and right, a middle scroll wheel, and then you've got the left or I guess forward and back buttons on the left hand side. Um, it will sync with Aura Sync as well. So if you've got other ASUS products in that ecosystem and you wanna synchronize the lighting, this will work with that. The battery, it's a lithium ion rechargeable battery, which will do 48 hours of gaming with the RGB on and 89 hours with the RGB turned off. So it will last you a long time between charges, which is very nice. In terms of its shape, it's actually an ambidextrous mouse, so it's not really preference for a left-handed or right-handed gamer. It will work perfectly fine with either. Um, you know, obviously the, the left and right, or the sorry, the forward and back buttons on the left-hand side is one thing that you might need to take into consideration if you are a left-handed gamer, but otherwise it's an ambidextrous shape. Um, grip style, you can sort of hold it three ways. There's no real preference here, but palm, claw, or fingertip, depending on the size of your hand. I've been using it in, I guess, that claw style slash fingertip style, but if you've got a smaller hand, it might be a palm style, right? But at the end of the day, it's all personal preference, and this mouse being ambidextrous allows you to sort of hold the mouse the way that you want to. You're not forced to hold it in a particular way, right? Um, the cable that comes included, it's a two meter rubber USB type C cable. So one thing that's great is the mouse does have USB connectivity, which is awesome. So if you happen to lose the cable, or you've got your own USB-C cables already, you can use that to recharge the mouse. Um, obviously works on Windows 10 and 11. You need the Armory Crate software though from ASUS to essentially, I guess, program and, and you know unlock some of the features about the mouse, which you can download for free. But the dimensions, which is probably the part that you guys care about, it's 120 millimeters in length, 62 millimeters in width, and 38.6 millimeters in height. So if you look at the G Pro and you compare the dimensions there, you'll see that it's probably, you know, only a little bit smaller across all three of those dimensions while still being um, a pretty lightweight gaming mouse. That being said, 93 grams, it's not super, super light, but I think anything under 100 grams in my book is definitely a win and something that you can put into that sort of lightweight category. Um, but again, personal preference, 93 grams, not super light, but definitely not a heavy mouse either. 
color only comes in black at the moment and in the box you basically just get the mouse the warranty card the user documentation the receiver and the cable and the receiver on that note actually slides into the back of the mouse so when you're not using it or you're traveling you need somewhere to store it it's really nice that they've made a consideration there and actually got a spot for it so you don't have to worry about losing it and you know then contacting your SUS to try and get another one so that's the technical specs of this gaming mouse now it does have RGB lighting, you've got a little scroll wheel and also the ASUS ROG logo on the back of the mouse which you can light and you can change the colors on, you can have some different effects. But I couldn't find a way to separate the lighting so it would have been nice to have the wheel one color or maybe have the wheel on and the logo off but that's just my personal preference. Now in terms of the plastic that ASUS has used, it's pretty much a matte plastic all the way around. You do have textured grips on the left and right side, which is really, really nice when you want to you know, grip it tightly and you don't want it to slip, especially if you're someone who gets maybe a little bit sweaty when you're playing games. Um, you've got a little bit of gloss in the middle around the scroll wheel and you've got a nice rubber texture um, on the actual scroll wheel as well. So when you're cycling through your guns or cycling through your inventory with that scroll wheel, it's actually really precise and quite nice to use and you can feel you know, the, you know, the bumps as you're scrolling through. So it's, it's really nice. Um, on the bottom, you've got PTFE um, pads as well. So it does glide across the mouse pad really, really smoothly. Um, very little resistance, I found. But there's also a good amount of control where I feel like when you're playing FPS games and you need to scroll and then stop and lock onto someone, um, this mouse does a really, really good job of that. And I feel like because of that texture grip as well, that definitely sort of adds an extra... Um, level of control when comparing um, this mouse to something like a G Pro which doesn't have you know, any sort of textured, textured side grips. Um, on the bottom as well you'll find that you'll have a DPI button where you can go ahead and cycle through four different stored um, DPI profiles and you can do that on the fly. You've obviously got an on and off switch as well as well as all of the you know information about the mouse on the very very bottom. But overall in terms of its design and everything else you know you've got the little ROG logo on the back side and everything about this mouse just looks really really nice. Nice and compact, a little bit thinner and a bit more narrow. Not necessarily a super round mouse or anything like that but I actually really, really dig the design. It took me a little while to get used to, you know, in terms of comfort in the hand. I didn't necessarily know, like, how do I hold this? Do I put it in the palm or do I claw it? Do I fingertip it? I don't know. Um, but I ended up definitely being a more of a claw style mouse. Um, I've got, I guess, medium to large size hand and I didn't necessarily have any issues at all. It didn't take me too long. I probably would say three to four days to get used to going from a G Pro to this. Um, but design wise, construction, how it feels and everything else, it has actually held up really, really well. Now, when I was doing some testing and I was doing my aim training and I was playing a bit of Call of Duty, I was doing a bit of a comparison between the G Pro and you know the, the Impact 2 in terms of my scores and stuff like that. And I did find that I was probably a little bit more accurate, about 10% with the G Pro Wireless, but I think that honestly just comes down to my muscle memory, the fact that I've used it for so long now, and I've only had three weeks with this, with this mouse from ASUS. In terms of the performance though and the response, I never felt like I missed a shot or the mouse wasn't doing what I wanted it to do, the mouse's you know, sensor was failing or anything like that. And when I have both of these mice set to 800 DPI, which is what I personally use every single day, um, they felt exactly the same. I could not tell any difference at all between the mice and the sensitivity and the acceleration or any of that kind of stuff. They literally felt the exact same. And when you consider the Impact 2 is only $119 and the G Pro is you know, 200 plus, I think that you know, in all honesty, the Impact 2 with USB Type-C and only being slightly heavier than a G Pro Wireless, um, it's actually a really solid mouse and I think you guys definitely need to give this one a chance, um, especially if you're someone who wants to claw or fingertip um, hold a mouse. If you've got a really, really large hand, I'd probably say that this is maybe a little bit too small, too narrow, and you might get a bit of uncomfort, but again, personal preference, right? But in terms of its performance and the sensor and all that kind of stuff, I absolutely had no issues at all. This has been a rock solid mouse from the out of box experience to gaming, to video editing, to literally using it for everything and anything. It has not failed me once. And so for that, ASUS has done an incredible job. So would I actually go ahead and recommend this mouse to you guys? 
100% yes. Um, like I mentioned, from the out-of-box experience all the way through my testing, it hadn't failed me at all. The battery life was really, really solid. I only had to charge it like one and a half times, honestly, and I was using the RGB on um, most of the time. It synced with all of my other Aura Sync products without any issues. The sensor was super accurate, and it didn't feel like I was missing out on anything going from my G Pro to this. And I guess that's the bottom line. Like, would I go back to my G Pro? Um, has it felt different? You know, the G Pro is a great mouse, but I actually think I'm gonna stick with the ASUS mouse um, as my daily driver because I felt like I was a little bit more precise. Having those thumb grips there, um, those rubber grips on the side definitely helped me a little bit. And it's such an affordable product that's got all of the latest tech that I don't really feel like you guys are compromising or missing out on too much. So that being said, if you're in the market for a mouse, definitely consider this one, compare it to all the other ones that are out there. Do your, do, do your own research, obviously, but this has been a really solid mouse and I couldn't, um, I couldn't find an issue, to be honest with you. So thank you to ASUS for sending this over and allowing me to do this review and sharing with you my thoughts with you guys. If you have any questions about the mouse or about this video, let me know down in the comment section down below. Again, if you enjoyed it, chuck it a like, get subscribed if you wanna see more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.